looking at today is by American artist Frank Stella. I've always enjoyed Stella's artwork. It is part of a movement called minimalism. This is artwork that focuses on geometric lines, shapes, and using a simple color scheme. This kind of art is often described as simple but beautiful. As Frank Stella said, it is what it is. So now we're going to make our own Frank Stella inspired artwork, but you're going to need a few things first. You're going to need some blank paper. You're going to need to find some circles to trace, like cups or lids. Anything circular you can put on your paper. You're also going to need to find something that's a straight edge, like a ruler or a book. And last but not least, some pencil and colors. So the first thing we're going to do is trace some of these circles. Now the trick to this is making sure that you place the object on your paper and hold it really still while you draw your pencil around the outside of it. Make lots of different circles that overlap or go behind each other. Different sizes will make it look really interesting. Keep going till you get a design that you like. Once you get a few different sized circles on your paper, now we need to use the straight edge to draw some lines. You need at least one of each of all the lines, horizontal, diagonal, and vertical. You can make the lines go behind your circles or inside of your circles. It's totally up to you. Use your creativity and your artist's choices. I also have this handy dandy stencil tool that can help me draw all kinds of different size circles. But as you've seen, anything can become a stencil if you can trace around it. The last step is to pick four to six colors. No more than six because this is a minimalist artwork, remember? Outline all of your lines and shapes and pick some areas to color in. I picked these colors. I really like them. As you're outlining, go slow and try and make the lines look nice and neat. You could even use the circles to trace around them again, but with your marker. You could also use crayons, colored pencils, or paint. To take a break from this one. I still think it needs a few more areas filled in, but this is another artwork I did that I feel like is very finished. I can't wait to see what you guys make. 